Developing news right now, minutes ago, a billion-dollar space mission, 10 years in the making, finally hit its mark. For the first time in history, a spacecraft has landed on a comedy rendezvous that has scientists at the European Space Agency Mission Control holding their breath for hours this morning. A thruster problem looked like it could complicate this important mission, but about 15 minutes ago, this tweet was posted. Touchdown for Phil I. NBC's Keir Simmons is following it all from London. Keir, this story is trending worldwide. The risks involved and just the extraordinary nature of it. Hey, Tamara, good morning. I bet it is trending worldwide because just think about how stunning this is. This is a spacecraft that cost a billion dollars to make. They throw it into space uh, a decade just about ago, and it flies millions of miles to this comet, gets up alongside it. Then what's happened in the last 24 hours in itself is pretty amazing. All those millions of miles away, it, it detaches and then... Uh, glides down to the comet, throwing out harpoons as it lands. And remember that this is a, a surface uh, of a comet that uh, they can see. You can see the pictures there, but they don't know exactly what it's like or, or where on the comet uh, the spacecraft is going to land. It throws out these harpoons. And all of that, despite the glitches that you mentioned, uh, has gone to plan. And it is now there, sending signals back, getting ready to tell us uh, what it's like there, It'll look at the gases, it will look at the substance of the surface of this comet, and it will potentially give scientists an incredible insight into the, the beginning of the universe, perhaps, into perhaps uh, human life. It may even help them, by the way, Tamron, uh, figure out what to do in that doomsday mm. scenario that a comet, a big comet, this one's two and a half miles wide, mm. uh, is heading towards Earth on a path of destruction. So it was really, really important <laughs> that they got this right, yeah. and amazingly, they did. So two and a half mile wide comet here, the Philae, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, about the size of a washing machine, I understand, Kier? Yeah, exactly. And a two and a half miles wide sounds big, but it isn't very big when you're trying to reach it across millions and millions of miles. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they are pretty pleased with themselves, and I guess they kind of have a right to be.